Uh, what a gorgeous view this morning, uh, back towards Whitby. Uh, today I'm at Sands End. As you can see, the waves are pretty high and we've had a lot of rain over the last few days. So I'm hoping there's been some fresh stuff being washed around uh, because Sands End often can become quite heavily overpicked. Uh, but after all of the rough weather, I'm hoping there'll be some goodies there for us to find. I'm looking for my first nice Harposaurus still, and this is probably the best place on the coast to come get them. Uh, so that's the big goal for today, uh, but we'll have to see. I'm going to continue my walk along the dark bits uh, on this path here, down to the get down point. And when I'm get down, I'll be back with you. So this is always the challenge getting down, is coming through this little river. Thankfully it's a long way down from where it was yesterday. I saw a video and it was actually raging. This was all just white water coming over the top. Uh, so it would have been impossible pretty much to get down yesterday. Um, but we're down on the beach. I got my head torch on. Uh, so hopefully you can keep spotting things as the sun just continues to rise. Uh, not alone, there's some other lovely people down here already. Uh, equally keen beans. Um, but I'm going to make my way around this way uh, and see what falls have happened and see what there is this way. The sea has been doing its work moving some of these big old shale blocks around and I'm hoping you can just about see that nice little ammonite. There's lots more on the block, but uh, I see the reflectivity of my uh, head torch not helping. I'm going to keep looking. Uh, plenty of loose material around this area it tends to get heavily picked, so we're going to keep working that way towards the other headland and just see what there's there. A nice big chunk of wood in this slab as well, a bellum knight right there. So this is sort of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a more complete version of this, so there's two on this one but alas, broken. Can you see what I see? My favorite things to find. Oh, she's a beauty. Absolute beauty. So I thought it's gonna be a good one. Looks it. Not a good one, sadly. All squished on the other side. This is what I'm hunting, is one of these, but a complete one of these, not the broken ones. Now here, this is one of the beautiful deathbeds of ammonites you get in the shale. And so there's hundreds of ammonites, but if you actually follow the bed across, you'll see it comes out again here, and there's some more in this bit. And again up here, there's some more just sticking out here, and they come out all the way along. Uh, I would not recommend digging into the bedrock. It's not officially protected as a triple SI here, but digging it out won't achieve anything. You'll increase the erosion and uh, potentially trigger some falls from some of these big old cliffs. So let's not do it. Here's one that's going to be a pain to prep. A deck in basically a pyrite nodule with a few little ones tapped around. Uh, one fairly ratty uh, elegantisaurus in this block. Uh, we can do better than that though. Some beautiful plant fossils. Pretty sure these ones are ferns and the ones over here might be different cycads or something similar. Uh, in my last video at Raven's Car, someone pointed out that I'd probably misidentified something as a fern. It was probably a cycad. So my apologies. Uh, not great with my paleobotany uh, other than leaf. And there's nice lots of leaves in this one. And whilst the last one was too big to collect, that's come in a perfect size. Look at that little beauty. Cutting everything for me, naturally. Sweet. I'll wrap that one up because that'll break. And some more plants. There's a lot of these nice sandstone blocks around at the middle actually with plant fossils in. Uh, makes up for the lack of ammonite fossils. Uh, one ammonite there. Possibly another one under my thumb here. Some shells by the looks of it on the bottom. So, uh, we will take this and have a prep of this down the line. Well, it looks a bit like a big chunk of phylloceros shell. Uh, there's a little ammonite there on the inside. You turn it over and yeah, obviously lots of little uh, ammonites washed into this body chamber of what looks like a big phylloceros. I think, just maybe, I have my harpo. It's not perfect. Um, so I was looking at this rock. may not look like much if I can keep it balanced and keep myself focused. There's just this keel edge here sticking out. Uh, and I was like, ooh, that could be a harpo. No, knocked some of it off and you can see a bit more of the shell there so that looks like it might wrap around and in 
be missing obviously that corner there but there's actually a small little one uh, visible just here as well so that looks very promising very promising annoyingly it's a massive block but I'm excited because that could be my first decent sized harpa another massive chunk of hypostasis there's so many around really so many pieces around uh, finding whole ones is the challenge <laughs> I wanted a hot parcel this today, uh, and yeah, look, look what I've got, another one. Uh, so this actually looks all right. The outer shell looks like it might be smashed to pieces, but I'm hoping the middle bit looks all right. And uh, yeah, then I destroyed a less good one uh, in one of those little DAC uh, grass aisle blocks. Uh, and then there's another little one there. That one looks a beauty. Um, another interesting block little layers of the deck grass aisles and it's quite a nice thick layer of them so that might come out as a nice little display piece uh, yeah uh, and haven't moved very far in fact have taken two steps a big old deck but the middle's all blown out yeah the day has turned very silly there's another <laughs> beautiful one <laughs> uh, a bit broken on this side with the beautiful calcite chambers but uh, yeah it's a complete Arposterous in this as well, uh, with the nice little grass aisle decks. And in fact, this is, might be two. Yeah, I think this is actually two. Uh, there's another one here. They sat on top of each other. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and this thing is a bit different looking. Uh, it looks a bit like some of the shells which are here, but I think this is actually an Eptikai or Aptikai, uh, the pronunciation I never get right, but I think it's. Um, the mouth parts of uh, an ammonite. I'll pack that one up too, but my bag is going to be very full. So it's been a stupid day. Like I've had one harposterus in my collection before. I think I've got five or six now based on my bag. Uh, I gave away a couple more. Uh, not great ones, but I gave them away to a couple up from London. And uh, yeah, a nice hildy, nice plant, an aptokai. Uh, my bag is so full, it's ridiculous. I would not be surprised if it's 20 to 30 kilos worth of rocks. Um, so my goal at the minute is to uh, scoot back around that way, still through the fog and mist, uh, to get around and see if I can get around the headland back to uh, Sanzen car park, around the headland rather than up and over, just because carrying this bag up the hill is gonna be torture. Um, so bear with me as I have to keep this outro a little short as I check back and uh, I'll be back maybe if I find anything else uh, or when I get to the car and show that I have lived. Tragically, the water's in too far. It would not be safe to go around that headland. So I'm gonna have to go up, up through the water and up all the steps. Uh, great. This is a nice big rock that I'm sat on to refresh myself before I go back up. I thought I'd just share the view with you all, so I walk back. It's still very misty, but what you can see right in the distance there, just on the little headland all on its own, that's Whitby Abbey. Uh, and you might just be able to make out the breakwater just below it. Uh, but it's uh, a beautiful, beautiful morning still. I'm surprised the sun hasn't burnt off the mist, it's been going all day, but uh, a lovely, lovely way to end my trip down at Sands End is this walk back along the coast.